Hello, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm a technical writer, research at Vita Las Vegas Autos. And today, I'm excited to talk about this 2002 Porsche Boxster S. This particular car has 34,000 original miles and it is in stunning condition. Body, paint, spectacular. Interior, knockout underneath the car, totally like a brand new car. This low mileage, expect high, high quality is what you're gonna get with this car. Now if you've, uh, most of you looking at this uh, Boxster, no, this is the S version. And uh, the most important thing about that, the car has the bigger 3.2 liter engine versus the 2.7. 250 horse versus 217. Um, this engine is a version of the 911 engine. And uh, just, just changes the performance of this car remarkably. Uh, auto riders of the day compared it more to the 911 engine as far as acceleration, uh, more than the base Boxster. So, you get the bigger engine with the S model. Brakes, also from the 911, okay? Cross-drilled rotors, bigger wheels, revised suspension, quicker steering. The S version has uh, a third radiator with an opening up front, titanium trim on the intakes. In the back, exhaust, instead of the old one exhaust, you got the twin round exhaust. Uh, on all boxes, of course, rear spoiler comes up at about 70 miles an hour. Automatically, you can do that uh, manually if you want. Um, this car has uh, complete service, uh, totally up to date. Before we listed it for sale, we went ahead and put brand new brake pads on the car. Uh, the hood struts were a little weak, so we put those on. Um, I can't remember what else we did. Oh, give it a synthetic oil change. And uh, totally ready to go. Service is completely up to date. Anyway, uh, I'd like to take this for a ride. And, uh, thank you. Let's go for a drive. Turn the key. Uh, starts right up. One thing I like about the Boxster, the tachometer is large and right in the middle. It dominates the cluster. The, this particular Boxster S is, uh, has a Tiptronic 5-speed automatic. What's kind of cool is you can put it in automatic mode and like a lot of manumatic transmissions, you have to change it to manual mode before you can shift manually. But on the Tiptronic, you just leave it in automatic and if you want to start shifting manually, just use the rocker buttons on the steering wheel. You don't have to uh, take it out of automatic mode. And then the normal driving, if you take off kind of slow or just normal, the car will start in second gear to, for a smooth start. But if you get into it, it'll start at first. It's a high revving engine. Red line's at 7,100 RPM, so you can spin this bad boy up pretty good. And it go up here. And again, you can see how it starts in second for a nice smooth start. Journalist of the back in the day when this was new, just praised this car up and down. We loved the engine note, the neutral handling. It's just an unbelievable handling car. And the bigger engine gives it a ton more mid-range torque. About 80% of the torque comes on at just over 2,000 RPM. So it's just got a lot of low-end grunt over the base car. take these speed turns at speeds and it just feels casual inside other cars would be feel like drama this car just feels you know a piece of cake going up here when I first saw this car I thought you know automatic transmission in a boxer it seems like a sacrilege but after driving it I'm amazed that this transmission seems to always be in the right gear I just love it Brakes on this car are unbelievable. They are from the 911. And they are, uh, their calipers are painted red, and the rotors are cross drilled, and uh, they came from the 911. They're a monoblock design, and they are unbelievably powerful. They suck your sunglasses off. 
hit the gas on this thing just to hear the exhaust note. It's just music. It's wonderful. Top down. Get a little sunshine on my bald forehead. Well, one thing too, you know, it's a little two seater. You know, I'm six foot four and I weigh way too much. <laughs> I fit beautifully in this car. I mean, I have tons of room. It's not tight at all. Very comfortable. Got the wind blocker. That's standard. It's a three piece wind blocker with a clear in the middle and then the net behind the roll bar. The roll bar is padded. But makes it so like we can have a normal conversation here with the top down. Quiet. Beautiful. The top is a single latch design. You just turn it, hit the button, it goes down. Kind of cool to watch. Dumb. show you, you know, start in first gear from the stop, you just stand on it. It starts in first, spin this bad boy up, shifts at about 6100 RPM. Okay. 100 miles an hour, just like that. No drama, no fuss. I think car and driver did it a quarter mile in about 13.7 when it was new. Pretty good. 250 horse in a car this light, man. It's just phenomenal. Okay, I'm in. Go second. Hit it, right? Four grand. Five, six, seven, shift. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This thing goes to 100 miles an hour like both cars go to 50. <laughs> this incredible acceleration. And the mid-range punch, unlike the base model, is just fantastic. Like I said, 80% of the torque comes on just above 2,000 RPM. Sit down. Look at that. Whoa! Yeah! Like a skateboard. <laughs> Good drivers out of poor drivers and makes phenomenal drivers out of good drivers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Service is all up today, brand new brakes. Place the struts up front, like I said. Anyway, thanks for going for a ride, it was awesome. <laughs>